today I have a really exciting video idea. <sighs> I'm just really excited to film this. I've been looking forward to this video ever since I got this product. Let me just explain what my idea behind this video is. So I got this palette from Sephora. This is the Anastasia Lip Palette. This is actually limited edition, but it comes with a ton of different lip shades in here that you can mix yourself to create basically any lipstick shade that you would ever want in your whole life. When I saw this, I was like, I have to try that. But I was a little bit nervous because I was like, I don't know if the formula, oh, because I didn't know if the formula of the actual little squares would be a good lipstick formula. But I've actually been trying this a lot, as you can tell. I've been really, really playing with it. Um, but I love the texture and the formula of these lip products. So my idea for today's video was that I'm going to take some of my favorite lipstick shades, I have them right here, and I'm going to try to create shades that are the exact same and create my own dupes of popular lipstick. This palette is $48 and if I can create shades that are exactly the same as all of these, why even have to buy a single lipstick when you can create the lipstick that you want exactly? So when you buy this palette, you get the lipsticks, you get this little mixing palette. You can see here are some of the colors that I've mixed together just playing around with it. And you also get a little spatula. You can use this to take out the colors and mix them together and you also get a little lip brush. So I wanted to dupe shades that I wear a lot. So I got my core main lipsticks that I tend to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I also, maybe at the end of this video, will try to create some different like funky colors that I wouldn't normally wear just to show you all of the different range of colors you can kind of do. So for this video, I, oh, I don't know which one to start with. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with my all-time holy grail lipstick, which is Max Cream in Your Coffee. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, I think in my first ever makeup video, I showed you guys me wearing this lipstick. I've been wearing this lipstick for so long. So Cream in Your Coffee is kind of more of a brown tone, kind of rosy mauve color. So I'm gonna scoop off a little bit of this one onto my palette so I can have kind of something to compare the shade that I'm mixing with. So I took my little spatula, I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Okay, for this one, I think I'm gonna first go in with this rosy, um, mauve color. It's a little bit too berry toned to be exactly like cream in your coffee, but this is just gonna be my base color. So I think I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of the color that was next to the first one we tried. This one, it's a little bit of a deeper red color. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that and mix that in and see if that helps. It's still a tiny bit darker than cream in your coffee, so I'm gonna take some of the white shade just to lighten it up. Now that I added the white shade in there, I really think that I got a very, very close match. Really the only difference is that the custom shade, the formula is a little bit more matte than cream in your coffee. Okay, so here are the two shades. You can see this is the one that I mixed together and this is the one that is the MAC shade. Now I'm gonna do the other half with my custom, my custom blend. I think that the main difference is this one is just more sheer and glossy, but I think that the shade is very, very close. What do you guys think? Do you think that they're a very close match? I would give this one a 9 out of 10 because if the formula wasn't different and maybe my custom one was a little bit lighter, I think it would be a very, very exact dupe. The next shade that I want to try to recreate is Kylie Cosmetics Ginger Liquid Lipstick. This is one of my favorite colors. I wear this shade all the time. It's a really pretty like terracotta brown nude shade. So I'm gonna put that on my palette. Oh, I hope that I can do this one because if I don't have to buy this anymore, I'll be very happy because this stuff is not cheap. Okay, I'm really excited. It's like a challenge and an experiment all at once. So first I'm gonna go in with this orangish shade. It's like a deep rust orange color. Some of that on my palette as my main base. And then I'm gonna grab 
some of this like warm, deep brown color and add that in. Coming together already. So these are the colors I have right now. That's Kylie's Ginger and that is my custom color. I feel like they're pretty spot on, but I'm gonna put them on and we'll see what they look like. So first I'm applying Kylie's Ginger. And on the other side, I'm gonna be putting my version of Ginger. Hopefully it's the same. I'm getting really competitive with myself, okay. Okay, so here is how the two lipsticks compare on my lips. I feel like my version is maybe a tiny bit lighter, but I feel like overall they're very, very similar. So for that one, I literally just had to mix two shades together. So that one's super easy to recreate, which is amazing. This is actually working a little bit better than I thought it was. Like looking in the mirror, I wouldn't be able to tell that I'm wearing two different lip colors. And that's kind of amazing because I made the color myself. I would actually give this one probably a nine and a half out of 10 because I know it's not exactly, this one is a little bit lighter, but man, they're close. Okay, the next shade that I'm gonna be trying to recreate is Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Cool Girl. I feel like this one might be a little bit harder to recreate because I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be tricky. I think for the base of Cool Girl 2.0, I'm gonna use this shade because it just seems like the most similar nude in the palette. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, like a, only a tiny bit, because I think it's just a little bit lighter than what I have now. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of the, the yellow. Okay, so here's the final product I'm going with. I think there's just something missing. I, I feel like there's a little bit of gray in the cool girl shade that I just can't exactly match but we'll have to see what it looks like on the lips. I'm nervous about this one. I don't think I did it as good as the other ones, but we'll see. Okay, so that's, this is the original, and I'm gonna see if our creation, Cool Girl 2.0 is similar. Mm, this looks good. Okay, actually, Cool Girl ended up drying a little bit darker than it looked wet on my little palette, so it kind of was a tricky one. It trickstered me into thinking it was something different than it was, so that means my shade turned out a little bit lighter than it actually was supposed to be. I would give this one an eight, but I definitely wouldn't say that it's a horrible dupe. I would say that it's an eight, an eight out of 10 dupe. What do you guys think? Okay, last one that I'm gonna try, I wanted to try a little bit of a different type of color. So I wanted to try a red color, and I have another Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick, and this one is in the shade Mary Jo K. This one is a very unique red color though because I feel like it has some like fuchsia undertones, but it's still like a very pretty true red color, so. I have my work cut out for me. So for this one, the obvious base choice is this red that comes in the palette. So I'm gonna put that down. Okay, so I think I just made a huge mistake. I added too much blue and now I have like a dark purple lipstick. So I'm gonna scratch that and try and try again. Okay, so there's my mess up one in the middle and I made the big mistake of adding way too much blue but this is the shade that I have now. And all I did to get this shade was I mixed together this red, this, and a tiny bit of this fuchsia color. And I got this. And I think that that looks pretty similar. So let's try that on the lips. This one could be the best one yet. It also could be the worst one yet because liquid lipstick does tend to dry a little bit of a different color. Okay, so I'm gonna be applying Mary Jo K to this side. Mary Jo K 2.0 on the other side. Here are the two lipsticks compared. I think that mine turned out a teeny tiny bit lighter, but I think that this is a good one. I think this one turned out really good. I think that this lipstick palette is one of my favorite 
makeup investments that I've ever made because you can create so many different lipstick shades and you don't have to try to dupe other lipstick shades. You can just run wild with your imagination and make any lipstick shade that you want, which I think is so cool. So the last little bonus part of this video that I wanna try is I wanna try to create a lipstick shade that I would never necessarily buy myself, but it's just like a fun color experiment. So I already mixed a really pretty blue color on this palette a while ago. I actually Snapchatted me wearing it. Um, but I think today I'm gonna try to make a green lipstick like a pastel green lipstick because I know I would never buy that but it's just fun to see what it looks like. So to make my green shade, I am gonna be mixing together the blue that comes in here with the yellow because with the laws of color, blue and yellow make green. Okay, so I got <laughs> a very dark emerald green color but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for the pastel look. So I'm gonna add some white in there and see if that helps out my case because right now it's not looking cute. So this isn't necessarily the color I had in my brain, but also it's not a color I've ever seen in Sephora, so might as well try it on to see what it looks like. Cause I definitely wouldn't buy this in the store. So this is the color that I have mixed together. It's a very um, mossy green color. I'll name it Moss. And if I ever come out with a makeup line, I'll include Moss just in case any of you out there want to buy him. He will be available. Okay, so here is my creation. It looks like I kind of got pneumonia a little bit, but it didn't really get a fair shot because my lips were so stained. So it kind of looks like I'm wearing green lipstick with a red lip liner. And that's just not cute. But the main point was just to show you guys that you can literally make any color with this lip palette, which I just think is so much fun and it makes you feel like a little artist mixing on your palette. And I just can't say enough good things about this palette. It's not sponsored at all. I bought this with my own money from Sephora. I just really wanted to show you guys a really cool new beauty product. I know that this video was a little bit different, but I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. But I love you guys so much and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye!